Hello everybody. On the last video, I left off on laying out the holes to mount the equipment so you can drill your holes to mount the equipment. I went ahead and showed you how to do the layout for those. I did the layout, I drilled my holes, and now I have my equipment mounted. And it's pretty much just ready for cables and ready for hookup. So in the next video, I'm gonna go ahead and run the cables, run the cables, secure the cables, and I'm gonna go ahead and start on the cut-in procedure. But if you look in here, you see I added two terminal blocks. And the way I added these, like I was saying on the video at the beginning, I was saying I had to pretty much use what I had that I have access to from like your home improvement stores and stuff like that. I don't have access to a backing plate. But when you actually on the ship, what you're going to use to mount these two black pieces, these terminal blocks on, is a backing plate. And it's like an eighth inch piece of uh, metal. It's usually aluminum. And what you do is you screw it in and you bolt it to the back of the panel or the junction box first. And then you add these and you screw these into the backing plate. But I, didn't, I couldn't find the backing plate. So I just installed my two terminal blocks straight into the box, just like this, with some uh, Gorilla Glue. You don't do that in the in the field. Don't glue anything, and that's against NEC code anyway. You're supposed to securely fasten all stuff, all uh, items inside of a junction box. I can't remember exactly which code it is, but I just did this for training purposes. That's why I'm letting you know that you don't need to. Uh, if you're going to install some terminal blocks, you're going to want to add a backing plate or something to fasten the uh, terminal blocks down. But the equipment is mounted, it's, it's good, it's ready for cables, and it's ready for hookup. That's my wireway or something like a local wireway. And uh, we just got to wait on the equipment and materials for the next step. I'm probably going to end up adding the disconnect switch. This junction box, I'm just making this junction box. It'll be something like a junction box for an HVAC shutdown or HVAC marshaling junction box or something like that. It's pretty much just a point to make connections so you won't have a bunch of splices all over the place. But um, I'm going to come up with a drawing and uh, for the cables for this box. And uh, we're going to start the cut-in procedure, run the cables, start the cut-in procedure, and start the hookup process, show you how to stop the cables inside the equipment and stuff like that.